Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. If you're here for the first time, like usual, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a notification bell. In this video I'm starting right away in my filming room where I usually make all of my backdrops. Why? Because I have a lot of questions regarding my backdrop. How I'm draping my fabric and I mean how I'm do I set up everything? First things first, I didn't make this frame. My sister-in-law and her fiance at the time, they made this uh, frame for uh, their wedding to for, for the backdrop. So she kind of told me to keep this uh, frame because I was using it uh, very often. She decided to just give it to me and so I would have it and it would be set and ready to go. First thing that I want to mention is uh, the length and the height of this frame. The width of this backdrop is 8 feet and the height of this um, frame is 7 feet and 5 inches. If you have a backdrop that is um, 7 feet and 5 inches in height then you would need or I would suggest to measure your uh, strips fabric strips at about 11 feet why because you would need some uh, fabric when you drape your strips of fabric and you would need some fabric at the bottom so the fabric can kind of lay nice on the floor. What kind of fabric do I use? I went to my local discount fabric store. It's a very great uh, place. You can get a fabric pretty cheap. They sell fabric in bolts. So I um, was looking for something white, something uh, that can be not heavy but would have weight on the fabric, not like chiffon. Chiffon is really light and very airy. I wanted something uh, heavier uh, than chiffon and uh, so it would not be translucent. So I stumbled on this fabric. It is a hundred percent polyester fabric. I love this fabric drapes nicely, it has some weight to it, and when you drape, uh, fabric falls and uh, forms these really nice um, folds, and you don't have to basically do anything. It just kind of drapes by itself. For the draping of your frame, I want to show you the last strip of fabric that you will be draping on your frame because I think it's one of the most important ones because at the end you want to wrap this around and hide it so it would look very nice and very polished and for people's eyes it would be hidden and not be seen. So first things first, lay your strip of fabric nicely on the floor, very flat and obviously this fabric wasn't cut very straight so this is the straight as it gets my fabric the width of this fabric is 66 inches love this fabric works great for my backdrop i usually use four strips of fabric to drape my frame and it gives me enough folds and it gives me enough fabric on my frame. As soon as your fabric is on the floor and nicely uh, laying, you will make a fold at about 8 inches. Take your safety pin and start uh, pinning your fabric. You take your fabric lift i usually lift it up i poke through two layer of fabric and i come back poking through two layer fabric again and i close my safety pin pin your fabric all the way to the other end pinning your safety pin about four inches apart from each other. 
when you're done pinning all uh, of your fabric at the other end of fabric leave about five to four inches of fabric unpinned just like here and you'll see why my frame luckily you can take it apart and what I'm doing is I pinned all of my fabrics the same way I pinned this one that I showed you so all I do is I take I take this horizontal pipe and I find that opening that we just pinned and I feed it through the fabric and voila all right for your next step remember that unpinned fabric that I told you not to pin and leave it unpinned so all you do is you uh, scooch your fabric all the way until it reaches that uh, last pin that you have on your fabric and then uh, this unpinned fabric you hold it like that and then you fold it over your pipe just like that then you take a safety pin and you pin through all of those layers of fabric just like that and you pin it so that way you can tuck it in that way you will cover this pipe that is showing on the side now it's very nicely covered and it's hidden to pin the rest of your pipe you basically do the same thing wrap uh, your pipe around with uh, the side fabric that you had and just pinch your fabric pin your fabric together i used four safety pins to pin all of my fabric around this pipe to close this gap that you would usually get when you are draping your backdrop you go behind your backdrop you take two of your strips that are next to each other and you pinch it together pin it together so you will do this all the way to the top of your frame and all the way to the ground uh, and just add a few more so just in case if someone's gonna walk by or the wind's gonna hit the fabric it would not fly open and now comes the easy part you will just move your fabric around and create those folds that you want to see obviously you can add as many strips of fabric that as you want it depends how folded you like for your backdrop to be in how many folds you like to see for the bottom part of my backdrop i when i was draping my backdrop i specifically chose a very long strip of fabric for the end of my frame because we have these legs so i really want to cover them so that's why i chose a really long strip of fabric what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to place this fabric very nicely at the bottom and also cover this leg and fix the bottom so it would look nice and polished how I drape all of my backdrops for any events that I have. I hope this video was helpful and I answered most of your questions. If you have any other questions, comment down below. I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all back very soon. Bye-bye.